We've used the match formula to look for exact searches from this list. The other types of searches involve sorted ranges. So when you're looking here at column E right now, it's sorted in descending order. So largest to smallest values. In that case, if I want to find closest matches, not exact matches, I can look at the, the hint key here and they say I can use the negative one search or to search a descending sorted range. So instead of zero, I can put in negative one. And when I do that, I'm going to see a result for all of these options. But in some cases, it won't be an exact match. So for example, before we didn't find 917174 anywhere, but it's telling me row 22 has the closest match. So if I go down to row 22, I will see this is the closest match without getting smaller than our actual value. So in other words, our actual value would have been in between these two values if it existed. I can sort my range the opposite way now, ascending, ascending A to Z. So now it's sorted smallest to largest. And now I need to change my search type. If I look at my sheet over here, when it's sorted by ascending, I use a one type search. And now it will find the closest value kind of um, just before it gets to my results. So in this number here, 917174, the closest one is going to be here in row eight. If I go up to the next value, I've passed over my search key here. And so that search key would be in between these if it were there. So the match formula is very, very helpful. Keep in mind, if you want an exact match only, be sure to set search type zero.